Good morning. And we look at Genesis 41, 15. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there's none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee, that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It's not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And he goes about telling the dream. And what we what we got to look at today is who gets the credit? Oh, our church is the best church. Our pastor is the great pastor. Oh, our pastor's got the great message. Our preacher's got the great message. Our Sunday school teacher, he did a wonderful, great job. The visiting evangelist, oh, how great he is, the missionary, how wonderful he preaches the message. Oh, this television preacher, he's the best. You got to come and hear my preacher. That's not what Joseph said. Joseph gave the credit to God. And then Joseph will interpret the dream, and God gets the credit. And even the Corinthian church, oh, we're of Paul, we're of Silas. Paul says, you're carnal. Don't you dare go out there and say, oh, look how great style he is. Don't you dare say that, because I'm not great. I'm a sinner. Washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I've even heard preachers and, 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 and men behind the pulpits, whether missionaries, Sunday schools, I, you know, I'm working on such a great message. Oh, your great message? You mean you had no help at all from God? It is your message. And if your message is your message without God, without the interpretation of God, without the Holy Spirit, we're going to look at in a moment then your message is dead and is as dry as a desert at the noonday sun. Because the credit does not belong to man. John. John chapter 14. Verse 26. But the Comforter, which is my pastor, which is my Sunday school teacher, which is the, the, the visiting preacher, absolutely correctly not. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. There is the Trinity. There's the Father, God, there's my name, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. There's the Trinity in one wrapped up in the Comforter. He, the Comforter, or the Holy Ghost, shall teach you all things. I went to church this morning. Man, you won't, but I dealt with my heart. Oh, I learned in Sunday school. How great my pastor. No, 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 no. Oh, you know, uh, this guy on the internet, YouTube, and, and he taught me. No, 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 no. You're reading your Bible. You're, you're having study time in your Bible. You're reading your Bible, and God throws up into your face, into your heart, into your mind, into your eyeballs, into your ears, into your hands, into your feet. Something that you just read in the Bible. You're reading the Bible through the year, and God said, look at that. You're like, wow! And your pastor, your missionary, whatever, they're across town, they're on the side of town, they're in their house, they're maybe at a restaurant, they're somewhere else. Who showed you reading your Bible? Who enlightened you to say, wow? The Comforter, which is God sent in the name of Jesus Christ, the Trinity. 
And then when we mention the Trinity, well, you know, we got to throw out some religions out there who don't believe in the Trinity. I absolutely believe in the Trinity. And I believe when I read my Bible, when I get something from the Lord, who, who, whether I be listening to this man or I be listening to that man or I be listening to that man or I, if I learn anything of my heart, if there's any conviction, if there's any knowledge, any wisdom, any understanding of the word of God correctly, I got it from the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, the Father, and Jesus Christ. And will bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I said unto you. When, when you're dealing with somebody... And you're out there witnessing, and, and this has happened to me many times, and you're witnessing to them, and after the conversation, you're like, wow, I didn't know I knew that Bible verse. Gee, I must be great. I must be wonderful. Because I quoted a Bible verse I didn't even know I knew. Absolutely correctly wrong. The Bible says, John 14, 26, that that Bible verse that you quoted for that man or that woman at that time, at that subject at hand, that came from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and not you. Now, the moment that you take the credit, the moment you give the credit to a man or to a woman, you have sinned, you have rebelled against God, you have defiled the work of the Comforter, the Holy Ghost. Which teaches it. Now, the vessel is the man in the pulpit, the man behind the podium. Now, people, I've had people come up to me and say, you know, well, the Bible is written by men. I said, absolutely correct. True. I will say that man, for the sake of this video, I don't know if you can, I say man is the pen. You see the pen? That's the man. That's, that's the pen. Inside that pen is ink. The ink is the Holy Spirit. Now, I use a pen to write, and I need the ink to write. And God is going to use men, pulpit, podiums, internet, however it be. But the credit does not go to the man. It goes to God. Now, that man has allowed himself to be used by God. And God will reward that man as such. But don't give the credit to the man. Give the credit to the Holy Ghost. The Comforter. God the Father. God the Son. Genesis. Go way back to Genesis. 40. Genesis 40, verse 8. Mark where I've been. Genesis 40, verse 8. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream. Famous words of a man. We have dreamed. I have dreamed a dream. I have a dream. And there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph, there he is again, said unto them, do not interpretations belong to our pastor. Our great and wonderful pastor. Do not interpretations belong to the great doctor so and so. Do not the interpretations go to the PhD. Absolutely correctly not. Do not interpretations belong to God. Tell me them, I pray you. <laughs> Look what Joseph's saying. The interpretations belong to God. Now tell me. I, Joseph is saying, I am going to be a vessel. There's the pen. And the ink is going to do the, the writing. But Joseph, the Holy Spirit is going to work through Joseph, the vessel. And all the credit we've learned through John 14, 26, we learned through the scriptures. All the credit belongs to God. You say, well, that's Joseph. I want to look, I want to look one more time at, at, at chapter 41, verse 8. 
And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled, and he sent and called for the magicians of Egypt, and all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told him the dream, but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. Don't you as a Christian, oh, I'm having dreams. Don't you as a Christian run to the store and get yourself a dream book. Don't you go on your computer and say, oh, I dream of a hippopotamus driving a Volkswagen last night. So what does a hippopotamus driving a Volkswagen mean? Don't you be doing all that. That's not Christian. We'll go over here to Mark 16, which is not found in many Bibles. In Mark 16, verse 20, at the end of, end of this web here, they went forth preaching everywhere, preached everywhere. They didn't invite them to the church. They went out and preached. The Lord working with them. The Lord working with them. The Holy Spirit working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Amen. What's going on? The Bible is not complete. So since the Bible's not complete, God does use signs, wonders, dreams that we read in the Bible. But as Christians today in the Laodicean church age, we have the complete 66 books of the Bible. There are no other books of the Bible. There is no other Bible but the King James Bible. And you say, well, Brother Stiley, where do I get my answers if I don't type in the hippopotamus driving a Volkswagen? Why can't I go to the tarot card reader? Why shouldn't I go to the flea market and the woman with the crystal ball? What do I do as a born-again, Bible-believing, saved Christian? What do I do for answers? And I'm glad you asked that. Because I'm going to tell you. 2 Timothy 2.15 this is what we're to do. We're to study. We're to study. You're not going to find that in the New Bibles. You're going to find that removed from the New Bibles. You're going to study to show thyself approved unto God. You're not going to go out there and witness to people and the Holy Spirit is going to throw a scripture verse at you if you don't study and read your Bible. It's not going to happen. In order for the Holy Spirit to work in you, you've got to work through the scripture. You've got to work through God. Study show thyself or proved unto God a workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly divine the word of truth. We don't go by dream books. We don't go to the tarot card readers. We don't go to crystal ball. We don't go to magicians. We go to the complete 66 books of the King James Bible and we rightly divide the word of God. You say, well, how do you wrongly divide the word of God? Well, one example of wrongly dividing the word of God is Jesus Christ was born December 25th. Easter is a celebration for the Christians in the church. That's wrongly dividing the word of truth. That's not of God. That's not of the Holy Spirit. But that's our answer. Our vessel for Christians today is the 66 books of the King James Bible. And no other Bible. And we give God the credit, John chapter 14, verse 26. We give Jesus Christ the credit, John 14, 26. And we give the Holy Spirit the credit, John 14, 26. And many of the Baptists are afraid to use the Holy Spirit and give credit to the Holy Spirit because we may be Pentecostal. Uh. Mm. 
we're not Pentecostal when we go to John 14, 26 to say, wow, you know, I've read my Bible nine times all the way through, and I've never seen that before. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am sitting in church, and, and the preacher's preaching, and bam, he hit my heart. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to take that scripture. I am going to apply that to my life correctly. Thank you, Spirit of God. And we don't go to prayer books. We don't go to dream books. We go to the Bible. You see, we mean prayer. I mean, I mean, the Church of England got you know their book of prayer, common book of prayer. We we don't do that. The Catholics have their book of prayer. We don't do the book of prayer. We do the King James 1611 authorized Bible. And we study. And we study. And when we study and when we read our Bible, then the Holy Spirit can use the scriptures that we learn that, hey, I didn't even know I knew that. And that's happened to me many, 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 many times. Genesis. Oh, no, excuse me, Daniel. We want Daniel. Daniel chapter 2, verse 10. And the Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Again, the king has a dream. And the Chaldeans in, in Daniel chapter 10 are completely correctly right. There is no king, there is no man, there is nobody, there is no magician that can show the dream to Nebuchadnezzar or Pharaoh back in Genesis. Wait, wait a minute, Stalin, you said that Joseph interpreted the dream. Correct, but who did Joseph give the credit to? He gave the credit to God. The interpretation came through Joseph through God. And without God, I could tell you anything I want to tell you about a hippopotamus in a Volkswagen. And Tom could tell you anything that he wants to tell you about a hippopotamus in a Volkswagen. And you can go to all the dream books in your neighborhood bookstore. You can go to all the dream books in your, your library, and you're going to find different things about hippopotamuses driving Volkswagens. And you may not find a Volkswagen. It may be a Chevy. And you may find a hippopotamus may be green in one book. And another book, the hippopotamus may be one-eyed. And that is man. And the Chaldeans are completely 100% correct to say there's not a man that has such a thing of a magician, astrologer, or Chaldean. Not at all. But we're not done. There's still a dream. So we move down to verse 27. Daniel, we all know who Daniel is. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret, whoa, there's a secret, which the king demanded. What's the secret? It's that dream. The king has a dream, and he said, I'm not telling you the dream. You tell me the dream. Now, we don't know if he, if he actually forgot the dream or if he's testing his, his men. But Nebuchadnezzar is like, I ain't telling you the dream for whatever reason. He forgot it or he, he's putting the men to test. Daniel says the secret which the king has demanded cannot the wise men the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. Daniel's backing up Daniel 10, Daniel 2, verse 10. What the men said about their own selves. Daniel's telling us if, if you got a question of God, you got a question of life, don't go to the bookstore. 
Don't run to the magicians. Don't check your horoscope. Don't look at the fortune cookie. Now, fortune cookies are fun. But I'm not going to let a fortune cookie direct my life. I mean, I would hate to be in a prison and you're in jail and you're a female and you're in a female prison. You're a male and you're in a male prison and you get a fortune cookie in the prison and say, you're going to find new love today. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not going to work. But let's see what Daniel says in Daniel 2.28. But there is a God in heaven. Same thing Joseph said. That reveals secrets and make it known to the king Nebuchadnezzar. What shall be in the latter days? The dream and the visions on your head upon thy bed and these. And he goes and tells the dream. What's the Christian? What is the game? I mean, what's the answer for the Christian when it comes to things? Well, let's go back to John and we'll close with John. John 14. John 14, 26. Here's the answer for the Christian the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. There's the Trinity, there's the God, there's the Revealer shall teach you all things. Joseph, by God, taught Pharaoh what the dream meant. Daniel, through God, taught what Nebuchadnezzar dreamed. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit will teach Christians all things and bring to remembrance but there's a little catch. As we go back to 2 Timothy 2, 15, the Christian must study to show thyself approved unto God. You say, well, I'm a Christian, and I don't get that thing to happen. Is your Bible closed? Yeah, I don't read my Bible. I don't open my Bible on Sunday morning. I don't even bring my Bible Sunday morning. Then the Holy Spirit can't work through you. Because the Holy Spirit is only going to work for those that study. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You know, what, what, you know, when it comes to witnessing, whatever I'm going to do, I'll bring him to the pastor. I'll bring him to the church. You're lazy. You're not studying. And nothing's going to happen. And you're not going to get rewards. Because I'll tell you, it's a remarkable thing. Listen, I, I've sat on the streets. I've sat in, in prisons. I, I, I've sat in home. And I'll be talking to somebody. And I get in the car or, or I'm sitting, you know, it's at the end of the day. And, and I, what times I, when I, I talk to my wife, Lisa, or, or, or Tracy, or I mean, you know, I can't believe I, I quoted that scripture. I can't believe what I said that what I said that that guy said, man, you, you've been reading my heart. And that's the same thing with Joseph. And that's the same thing with Daniel. And that's the same thing with Christians. I mean, we'll give more credit to, to Daniel. We're told about that. Not much with, with Joseph. We're told with Daniel. He prayed three times a day towards Jerusalem like he was supposed to, and Daniel had and knew the law. Joseph didn't have the law. There was no law. Joseph, there was no Genesis. Genesis was being played out as Joseph was living. Daniel would see somebody who would study the scriptures. And we learned that Daniel was wise. You want to be wise? Study to show thyself approved unto God. Then the Holy Spirit can use you. 